uh, coming to you today on Monday, January the 3rd. Uh, there's my neighbor's uh, young bull. Uh, he's a little white-faced, uh, red Angus. Notice, if you would please, what he's doing. He is chewing the cud out here eating. Um, that's one of the word pictures for what it means to meditate on the Word of God, uh, is to, as it were, chew the cud. Uh, today, I want to talk about, out of Proverbs chapter 3, uh, walking each day through one of the Proverbs. Uh, it's a little principle uh, that's found uh, in uh, verses uh, 3 and verse 22, uh, talking about a love and faithfulness or wisdom and understanding uh, being a garland of grace, uh, a binding of grace around your neck. So guess what? The key word today is necklace. It is necklace. Uh, my wife uh, has a favorite necklace. Uh, and it has in it the shape of a cross. I'm thinking of a prominent uh, and well-known head football coach in the National Football League. Uh, he wears around his neck a necklace with a cross on it, uh, thusly making a statement. Again, I have my journal with me. Uh, notice, if you would please, in Proverbs uh, chapter 3, uh, there are listings of many of the benefits of wisdom. Uh, why should we choose to be wise? Why should we choose to be discerning? Why should we choose to be prudent? Uh, why should we walk that good path? Listen to some of these. Prolonging your life, it will give you peace. It will help you be prosperous. Uh, it will give you favor with God and with people. It'll give you a good name, a good reputation. Uh, it will also give you riches and blessing. But the key idea flows out of verses 3 and verse 22 in Proverbs chapter three. Think about love and faithfulness. Think about wisdom and understanding as a necklace to be adorning who you are and how you live. Could it be that we prominently display those amazing virtues of love, faithfulness, wisdom, and understanding? Let them be a garland of grace, a necklace around your neck. Hope you've had a wonderful day. God bless you. Have a good evening.